10 starts now. Our Dallas skyline is home to several big companies, and soon Uber will be here, too. Yeah, we've heard talk about this for a while, but today the company made it official. Now, a lot of us use Uber to get around, but bringing corporate jobs here could be a game changer for Deep Ellum. Uber will open its huge new hub in a building called The Epic. Marie Saavedra is there live, and Marie, someday thousands of people will be working there. Right, and some of those people might choose to live nearby. I'm sure a lot of them will just walk a few blocks and pick up something for lunch, or they might get together with friends and grab a drink after work. You might not think that an entertainment district would be welcoming to this kind of big business, but according to the people we talked to tonight, you'd be wrong. A neighborhood can change a lot in 25 years. Pretty long time, long time. And Pete Zotos knows it. And nobody likes change, but I mean, it's pretty cool to be a part of it. His St. Pete's Dancing Marlin is a mainstay that survived Deep Ellum's peaks and valleys. Up and down, ebbed and flowed and all that. But I think this time you see some players with some, some big money that are, you know, really coming in here. And from the front door of his restaurant, you can see the highest peak yet. One as big as the smile on the mayor's face when he confirmed it. Uber has selected uh, the city of Dallas uh, for its expansion. The rideshare giant's major hub will be inside Deep Ellum's new development, The Epic. And here's the number that made it happen. Uber gets nearly 36 million in incentives from the city, county, and state of Texas. In exchange, we'll get 3,000 jobs in the next five years with an average salary of $100,000. That is a deal to the Dallas Regional Chamber of Commerce. It puts a signal out there uh, and it helps that drumbeat that this is a fantastic place for tech companies. Beats and bars is what Deep Ellum's mostly known for. So what happens when a major corporation moves in? When that thing lands, that energy, that ripple is really going to have just a super positive impact for all of downtown. St. Pete's sure hopes so. I'd rather see buildings that are full instead of buildings that are empty. Big business might dull Deep Ellum's edge, but it could also make what's already here even sharper. Hurry up, let's get it done, you know what I mean? <laughs> the deal's inked, let's hire these people and get to work. Yeah. Now, this announcement does bring with it its fair share of concerns. A lot of people had issue with the amount of incentives. There's some talk about transportation changes in this area that neighbors want to know much more about as those discussions continue. But also, Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price brought up the fact that Uber's predominantly male and white workforce does not reflect the diversity of this city. Either way, the first employee should be moved in by the end of this year. Cynthia. All right, Marie, thank you. So who is Uber going to hire? They need system analysts, software engineers, finance executives, salespeople, and other corporate positions. And like Marie mentioned, we're all worried about how thousands of new jobs will affect traffic. Transportation officials have pitched creating an electric shuttle, more bike paths, better sidewalks, and more parking around the Epic to make it all a little easier to get around. 